Cargo ship crashes into bridge. Ship capsizes in ferocious storm. Welcome to the high stakes world of global shipping, where massive cargo ships weighing thousands of tons transport goods across oceans, battling powerful storms and treacherous waters. These behemoths of the sea are essential for a modern way of life, but when things go wrong, the consequences can be catastrophic. In this episode, we'll take a look at the incidents that highlight the dangers of shipping at sea. A cargo ship that crashes into a bridge, causing chaos and destruction, and a ship that capsizes in a ferocious storm, forcing the crew to fight for their lives. Here are some examples of cargo ship crashes into bridges. Number 1. MV Karama in 2014, the MV Karama, a cargo ship, was traveling near Prince Edward Island in Canada when it crashed into the Prince Edward Island Bridge. The impact caused significant damage to the ship's bridge and resulted in a small oil spill. The cause of the incident was not immediately clear, but it was speculated that the ship may have been off course or affected by adverse weather conditions. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident. Following the incident, efforts were made to contain and clean up the oil spill, as well as to assess the damage to the bridge and the ship. The MV Karama was eventually towed away from the bridge and taken to a nearby port for further inspection and repairs. The incident served as a reminder of the potential risks and hazards associated with shipping and the importance of safety measures and regulations in the maritime industry. It also highlighted the need for effective emergency response procedures and protocols to minimize the impact of incidents like these. While the MV Karama incident did not result in any serious injuries or major environmental damage, it underscored the importance of maintaining vigilance and awareness at all times when operating large vessels in busy shipping lanes. In the aftermath of the incident, the Canadian authorities launched an investigation into the crash to determine the exact cause of the incident. The investigation revealed that the ship's captain had failed to properly calculate the vessel's height leading to a miscalculation and subsequent collision with the bridge. The incident prompted calls for stricter regulations and guidelines for shipping companies to ensure that proper safety measures are in place and that crews are adequately trained and equipped to handle potential hazards and emergencies. The MV Karama incident also served as a reminder of the potential environmental impact of shipping accidents. While the oil spill resulting from the incident was relatively small, even minor spills can have significant ecological consequences, particularly in sensitive areas such as coastal regions and wildlife habitats. In conclusion, the MV Karama incident was a stark reminder of the importance of safety and environmental regulations in the shipping industry. It highlighted the potential risks and hazards associated with transporting goods across oceans and the need for effective emergency response procedures and protocols to minimize the impact of incidents like these. The incident also underscored the importance of continued vigilance and awareness among shipping companies and crews to ensure the safety of both people and the environment. Number 2. MV Akatsuki In 2019, the MV Akatsuki cargo ship registered in Panama was traveling near the port of Hiroshima, Japan, when it crashed into the side of a bridge. The ship was carrying steel at the time, and the impact caused a fire to break out on board. The bridge was also damaged, and traffic in the area was disrupted for several days. The cause of the incident was not immediately clear, but it was speculated that the ship may have been off course, or that there may have been a mechanical failure. Local authorities launched an investigation into the incident to determine the cause and to assess the damage to the bridge and the ship. Fortunately, no injuries were reported among the ship's crew or on land. However, the incident had a significant impact on the surrounding area, causing traffic delays and disruptions to local businesses. Efforts were made to contain and extinguish the fire on board the MV Akatsuki, but it was not fully brought under control until several hours after the collision. The ship was eventually towed away from the bridge and taken to a nearby port for further inspection and repairs. The incident served as a reminder of the potential risks and hazards associated with shipping, particularly when carrying hazardous materials, and the importance of safety measures and regulations in the maritime industry. It also highlighted the need for effective emergency response procedures and protocols to minimize the impact of incidents like these. The MV Akatsuki incident underscored the importance of continued vigilance and awareness among shipping companies and crews to ensure the safety of both people and the environment. It also emphasized the need for ongoing efforts to improve safety standards and regulations in the shipping industry to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. 
Following the incident, the Japanese authorities launched an investigation into the cause of the accident. The investigation found that the crew of the MV Akatsuki had failed to follow proper procedures when navigating in the area. The ship's captain and a number of crew members were subsequently charged with professional negligence resulting in property damage. The incident also prompted a review of safety measures and regulations for ships traveling near bridges and other critical infrastructure. The Japan Coast Guard issued a notice to all vessels operating in the area reminding them to take necessary precautions when navigating near bridges and other structures. The incident also highlighted the potential risks and challenges associated with the transportation of hazardous materials by sea. In response, shipping companies have stepped up efforts to improve safety standards and protocols for the transport of dangerous goods. These efforts include improved cargo securing and handling procedures, enhanced training for crew members and increased oversight and regulation by national and international authorities. The MV Akatsuki incident serves as a reminder of the importance of safety and preparedness in the shipping industry. While incidents like these are rare, they underscore the potential risks and hazards associated with shipping, particularly when carrying hazardous materials, and the need for ongoing efforts to improve safety standards and regulations in the maritime industry. Here are some examples of cargo ships capsizes in ferocious storms. Number 3. SS Edmund Fitzgerald the SS Edmund Fitzgerald was one of the largest ships on the Great Lakes, measuring 729 feet long and weighing over 13,000 tons. On November 9, 1975, the ship set sail from Superior, Wisconsin, bound for a steel mill near Detroit, Michigan. The ship encountered a severe storm on Lake Superior with hurricane force winds and waves over 30 feet high. The ship's captain, Ernest McSorley, reported that the ship was taken on water and had lost two of its radar systems. The ship was also listing to one side, making it difficult to navigate. Despite these challenges, Captain McSorley and his crew continued to press on, hoping to reach shelter in Whitefish Bay. However, shortly after 7.10 pm, the SS Edmund Fitzgerald disappeared from radar. A search and rescue mission was launched, but no survivors were found. The ship had broken in two and sunk to the bottom of Lake Superior, taking all 29 crew members with it. The cause of the sinking remains unknown, but several theories have been proposed over the years. Some experts believe that the ship may have taken on too much water and become unstable, while others suggest that the ship's cargo of iron ore may have shifted, causing it to capsize. There are also theories that the ship may have been hit by a rogue wave or struck an underwater object, such as a shoal or rock formation. The sinking of the SS Edmund Fitzgerald was a major maritime disaster and prompted a number of changes in the shipping industry, including improvements to ship design and safety standards, enhanced training for crew members and increased regulation and oversight by national and international authorities. The incident also gained widespread attention through popular culture, with numerous songs, books and documentaries inspired by the tragedy. The sinking of the SS Edmund Fitzgerald remains one of the most well-known and studied maritime disasters in history. The ship was carrying a total of 26,116 tons of iron ore pellets when it sank, making it one of the largest single ship losses on the Great Lakes. Following the disaster, a number of investigations were launched to determine the cause of the sinking. The US Coast Guard and the National Transportation Safety Board conducted separate inquiries, but were unable to determine a definite cause. Some experts have suggested that a sudden and catastrophic failure of the ship's structure may have been responsible for the sinking, while others have proposed that the ship may have been hit by a large wave or suffered from a combination of factors, including design flaws and human error. Despite uncertainty surrounding the cause of the sinking, the SS Edmund Fitzgerald remains a powerful symbol of the dangers of maritime transportation and the importance of safety measures and regulations in the shipping industry. The ship's legacy has been commemorated through various memorials and monuments, including the SS Edmund Fitzgerald Memorial in Duluth, Minnesota, which features the names of all 29 crew members who lost their lives in the disaster. Number 4. MV Derbyshire the sinking of the MV Derbyshire was a tragic event that took place in September 1980. The ship was on its way from Canada to Japan, carrying a cargo of iron ore. As it approached the coast of Japan, it encountered a powerful typhoon, with winds up to 100 miles per hour and waves up to 60 feet high. Despite efforts by the crew to ride out the storm, the ship began to take on water and eventually sank. All 42 crew members on board were killed, including the captain, officers, engineers and seamen. The sinking of the MV Derbyshire remains one of the worst maritime disasters in British history. 
and one of the largest losses of life in a single incident in the shipping industry. Following the disaster, a number of investigations were launched to determine the cause of the sinking. The British government conducted a formal inquiry, which found that the ship's design may have contributed to its sinking. The MV Derbyshire was a very large ship, and the inquiry found that its size and design may have made it more vulnerable to the extreme weather conditions it encountered. The sinking of the MV Derbyshire had a profound impact on the families and loved ones of the crew members who perished. The loss of so many lives in a single incident was a devastating blow, and the tragedy was felt throughout the shipping industry and the wider community. The sinking of the MV Derbyshire also highlighted the need for improved safety regulations and standards in the shipping industry, and led to a number of changes in the way cargo ships are designed and operated.